with the addition of the Tron Light Cycle Power Run Roller Coaster coming to Walt Disney World for its 50th anniversary in 2021, what better time to discuss the track layout for this brand new attraction and also give a construction update whilst we're at it, so let's dive into all of that up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack and this is of course DSMI Newscast and you know what, let's just get straight into it for today. So for the longest time it seemed that there was very little progress being made on the new Tron Light Cycle roller coaster coming to Walt Disney World's Tomorrowland. And then seemingly out of nowhere in May, with a lot of the site preparation work out of the way, construction work really got moving, as we saw the installation of the support beams and then the beginning of the track installation. And since then, in just over a month, around 75% of the overall track has now been completely installed. But before we start to break down and dissect the entire track layout, it's important to understand that everything that we're looking at here within these images is all going to be enclosed within the ride show building. That thanks to BioReconstruct over on Twitter, we can now see that the first structural support beams have been put into place, with these to be extremely close to the exterior of the tallest support beams of the track. And most likely the reason why Disney has decided to erect the show building after the track installation for Tron is because it's pretty much a replica of the attraction that can be found over in Shanghai Disneyland. Whereas with the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster over at Epcot, Disney prioritized the enclosure of the massive show building for two reasons. One being because it's a completely new attraction and so Disney would like to keep some of that magic intact. And secondly and most importantly, it's because the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster is rumored to feature more advanced show components that would definitely require the show building to be fully enclosed from the outside elements. Whereas the Tron Light Cycle roller coaster will of course have some show scenes as well, as can be seen in this footage here, but they are formed around the track instead of being integral to the actual ride system itself, which seems to be the case for the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster. But anyways, much of what we're seeing here with the track will soon be enclosed inside a building that should not be easily visible from the guest areas in front of the attraction, as the main canopy will obstruct much of that view. But since we have these amazing aerial images of the track, what better time to explain the track layout for this roller coaster? So first of all, this area over here is going to be where the load and unload area will be for the Tron light cycles, with it being an indoor highly themed loading sequence that will have you fully immersed into the world of Tron. Then after this load area, you will turn a corner and get ready to launch outside at 60 miles per hour into the covered canopy area, which is arguably the most exciting and iconic part of this entire attraction. As we can even see that the concrete foundations have been partially created, ready for the installation of the support beams and eventual track for the outdoor section of this roller coaster. Whereas the other large forms that you can see within this image will be for the base for the canopy supports instead. Then we come to the track section that will be fully enclosed within the building, as this is the tallest point of the entire coaster. And this is where you'll encounter the first of the show elements in this break section, as once you enter the main building, essentially you'll be entering the grid from Tron. But now let's go back to the aerial image to give a better understanding of the layout. As you'll go from this break section into the first of the helixes, then out around this banked turn into another helix, before entering almost a figure of eight looping around the entire show building, and then you will descend down and run parallel to the exterior walls, before turning the corner and arriving back into the load and unload area. Now hopefully that made some sort of sense as you can probably imagine it's not the easiest thing demonstrating a track layout especially when the track is seemingly intertwined and doubles back on top of itself. But still it gives a pretty good understanding to just how far along Disney is with this attraction as it now seems that it's progressing at an extremely fast rate. However don't forget Disney has stated that the opening date will be in 2021 mainly so that the opening can be part of the 50 new things for the 50th anniversary campaign. And also the fact that spacing out the construction over multiple years means that the cost can be spread out into multiple tax periods as well. But nevertheless, considering this rate of progress on the construction, it's rumored that it will be opening toward the spring of 2021 instead of closer to the actual anniversary, which is obviously October 1st, 2021. But whilst we're talking about changes within Tomorrowland, something pretty notable has been removed. And that is of course the metallic Tomorrowland entrance archway signage. 
as it was reported by WDW Magic First last week that imminent changes were expected, and further changes will be coming later this summer as well throughout the entire land. But during the night last Monday, Disney removed the entire archway, with it expected to be receiving a much more simplified design, which was actually hinted at back in May with Disney also updating the graphics for the signage within the My Disney Experience app. That clearly shows a cleaner font design for the Tomorrowland signage, which could be taking inspiration from the clean font style of the Tomorrowland movie from 2015. But one thing we know for sure is that the reason why there wasn't a simultaneous replacement of the sign is because Disney will be reutilizing and repurposing the existing archway for this new entrance design. And in addition to this, I just want to very quickly set the record straight on a recent rumor that's been circulating online, as it's been stated that apparently Elon Musk and Tesla are in talks to sponsor the Tomorrowland Speedway, with a rumor stating that this would be the transition to the electric Speedway cars. Now, yes, of course, it would be logical to put those components together, but just because they make sense doesn't mean that it's true. And since this rumor started to spread, Disney has responded and firmly denied this inaccurate report. However, despite this rumor not being true, other rumors from reliable insiders have stated for quite a while now that the Tomorrowland Speedway might be receiving a significant upgrade and renovation to better complement the Tron design aesthetic. However, all of that wouldn't be for another year or two if it is to happen. And lastly for today, we have some news regarding Halloween at the Magic Kingdom. As it's been revealed by Disney Parks blog that as part of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party this year, the all new Disney's Not So Spooky Spectacular will feature Jack Skellington as the host. However, the bigger news out of all of this is the custom advanced castle projection mapping, similar to that of a level of detail that can be found within Happily Ever After, with this new show only marking the beginning, as apparently Disney will be looking to introduce more detailed advanced projection mapping limited time shows eventually for the Christmas parties as well, which will most likely happen next year. And, and it's also rumored that we'll be getting an updated version of Happily Ever After to celebrate the 50th anniversary in 2021. But now it's over to you, the Walton is. As with Tron coming to Tomorrowland and also the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster coming to Epcot, if you could add a brand new roller coaster experience to any Disney park around the world, which would be themed to a Disney IP, either a movie, franchise, or character, then what will that roller coaster's narrative be and why? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the Hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video, along with your suggestion or your comment, to be in with a chance to win one of these official DSMI newscast enamel pins. And congratulations to this one here, here for me this suggestion from the previous video, where we we're talking all about the September 29th opening date for the Disney Skyline. And so that's it for today. So go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Hit that notification icon so that you always receive an update when these videos come out on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And also, if you've enjoyed today's video, give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.